and Dr. Bob, how about this for a super fight? LLCV championship on the line. Lufisto defends against FTM. Two absolute legends, icons in Quebec wrestling, and they know each other very, very well. Decades of experience here in the ring. When it comes down to it, I do think the Beast King at the end only Frankie the Monster has more wins over Lufisto. But the legend herself, absolute icon in women's wrestling, is here with absolutely zero fear against the Beast King. Icon in wrestling, period. Not backing down from the Beast King. He's LLCV champion for a reason. Breaking on all comers. Some trash talk from the Beast King. With all the experience that they have, I think the Beast King should know that there's no way he's going to get in her head. Maybe he's trying to go through her head. Oh, Lufisto not backing down, though. What a risk of matchup. I've seen this iteration many, many a time. Never for a championship, though. Rocks the Beast King early. FTM shoves Lufisto off, moves out of the way of the boot. Our final title match of the evening. We saw Benjamin Tall retain the Loot Zero set title. Will we see LaPisto retain the oh! title? Back and forth with the slaps. Hey, for newer fans who might not know the lineage and the history of LaPisto, I've seen this woman face off against three dangerous opponents in the cage of death. Oh! Not intimidated by the Beast King. We saw that Dr. Bob, she kind of hobbled on her knee a bit, has, has had an issue with her Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Don't face Suicida! Oh, an elbow Suicida right through the first and the second. Knocks her down, maybe knocks her out. Lufisto actually on her retirement tour. Might be called early after this match. Trying to get away from FTM. Beast King right behind her. She's going for some of that under the ring plunder. Oh no! Nope, Lufisto saw it coming. Turns the tide, hits the Beast King. Oh! Gotta bring the bridge to the nose, you look like! Where's they, where are they going? They're going right into the crowd? Lufisto bringing the fight to FTM. Very few people hitch and chop harder than Lufisto. There's one person who can do it, it might be the Beast King. Just unloading on him on the floor. Oh! Fights right back. That big chance might have fight a part of the throat. Stops his play. Oh, jeez. Oh, getting up close and personal. Lufisto trying to put distance between herself and FTM, but the Beast King moving in like a predator on its prey. A methodical pace of the Beast King. Dr. Oh, tries me up. We start to come up. FTM on the apron. Wrecking ball. Rising Santon goes crashing down. And the Beast King is looking like a wounded animal. Dr. Bob, such a historic event here today. It's an absolute honor to have these icons of Canadian wrestling FTM and Lufisto doing the war. We're thanking our good friends at the LLCV for sponsoring this matchup. Oh! My goodness! Oh, just your sets! Absolutely nothing back! Their chests are gonna be pen shaped of crimson after this one. Powers up! <laughs> Chokes on the apron. Doing the smart move and creating some distance. 
Oh, he pissed those oh, 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 away. He's got to get out of the corner, though. Moving away every time FTN hits these big impact maneuvers. He puts the distance, gives himself some time. Not enough in there to get escape out of the ring. Oh, oh. Two feet almost down. Oh, oh, oh. oh. With ease. Belly to belly, overhead center from one ring post to the other. Not looking good for Lufisto here. We might be seeing a new LCB champion here in Ottawa. The Beast King is a dangerous competitor, and he is looking to make short sure work of Lufisto. She calls herself the Wounded Owl, and how apropos. Oh! Sweeps face first. One of Tiny Kicks are getting no Tiny Kicks. Charges in, hits it again, hip attack. There's a the jab with the spear. Cuts her in half, but it might be all. No! That was Matthew Grant. I would go far, far away right now. Lufisto trying to recover FTM, getting to his feet. Wobbling a bit. But what more does Lufisto have in her? Valiant fight, but she is looking absolutely decimated. Nope! Oh. 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 <laughs> Again! Oh, dude! Look at the angle of his head and look at the angle of his neck! Oh, jeez! Splutter suplex! Just the way he's tossing the pistol. <laughs> Battle of the suplexes. But what's gonna give Pops of all? These two have just been, there's been no slowdown here this matchup. It's been high energy, high attack in the deck book. And you see the familiarity of these two flatties in the ring. They've faced off many, many a time and know each other's offense. It's gonna take a lot to pull one or the other down. Untied when I call Beasting FDM match. That man is a sight to behold. He's got a sight set on the pistol trying to end this match now. Just the fights are off. Goes again to the strikes. Gets Beast King in the face in the back of the head. Could that be the knockout blow she needs? No. Emulating some of that Joshi offense. Lufisto likes to use the burning hammer. Burning, burning hammer on the Beast King. No credibility. Stay by. Oh, and down. that's it. New champion. No. What are we seeing here? A battle for the ages for the SLCV Championship. Lufisto survived one of the trademark maneuvers of the Beast King. Will she be able to get him up? In that burning hammer. Not <laughs> all the opponents the Beast King has come with that. It might just be too little too late for Lefisto. So now the noose coming to play. Ref, get it out. This might be done in a wrestling match. Thank goodness. This is not being a wrestling match. We're not talking about Rock Ball. This has been a straight up war. <laughs> No small package! Rolls them up! She got him! A hooker by Kirk Lefisto retains! To the shock and all these fans, and especially the Beast King FDM, your winner and still champion Lefisto! Two icons went to war, but in the end, it was Lefisto. Seeing that opening, taking that advantage, and rolling up the Beast King, your winner, and still the Lucifer champion, Lucas.